Why do some pilots choose to go down with a failing jet instead of pulling the one handle that could save their life? Because that handle isn't just an ejection lever. It also marks the end of their flying career. The moment a pilot ejects, their body is hit with around 16 to 18 GS instantly. It's like 10 times their body weight slamming straight into their spine. After ejecting, pilots have to undergo rigorous medical and psychological evaluations. If they're deemed unfit to fly, their career ends right there. For many, that feels worse than losing the aircraft itself. And the harsh truth is, ejecting doesn't guarantee survival. A fighter jet seat is basically a small rocket. If the altitude is too low, or the jet is upside down or spinning, the parachute might not even open in time. Some pilots never get the chance to reach the ground alive. So why do they fight until the last second? Because the experience a fighter pilot carries cannot be replaced by any machine. Knowing the limits of the jet, the tactics, and all the sensitive procedures takes 7 to 10 years of training and costs millions of dollars. Planes can be rebuilt, but human instinct and experience cannot. Many pilots say, ejecting doesn't mean I survived. It means I failed. That pressure is heavier than the jet going down itself. Now it's your turn to decide. In a failing aircraft, would you pull the handle and take your chances? Or hold the stick for one more second, hoping you can bring the jet back? Tell me your answer in the comments.